Hello everyone, welcome back to Star Trek Timelines. Today we're going to check out the Right on Q skirmish event. Following a Borg incursion, Commander Riker sustains a suspicious injury. The Borg and the Augments are suddenly both in pursuit of your ship, as you and Commander Shelby must investigate why. Maintain command and steady your crew through the chaos. Alright, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this time. As we enter the event, we'll decide which level we want to start with. But first, we hear from Dr. Beverly Crusher. Captain, thank you for coming down so quickly. The Borg Sphere detected our presence, and after an exchange of phaser blasts, we had to beam directly to sickbay. Commander Shelby says, my injuries aren't serious, but Commander Riker has not regained consciousness. I'm sorry the mission went sideways, Captain. I was hoping we'd be successful sabotaging the sphere. Their technology, as you know, is constantly adapting. Dr. Crusher chimes in again. Commander Riker is stabilized, but his readings don't match those of his medical records. It's as though he's been altered somehow. I'll need more targeted scans to understand the full extent of his injuries. Shelby, you should remain for observation. Due respect, Doctor, but I'll report back here after the Captain and I have dealt with this Borg Spear that's now pursuing us. Today we're going to try the uh, Elite level. So let's go ahead and choose our ship first. It looks like we get a bonus for our Borg Sphere, so that would probably be a good thing to pick. Then we have our ship. We'll pick our crew. So many slots we have to fill. Okay, first of all, we have Command. Let's see who would give us a bonus. We're going to go with Spock and Aichaya for Command. Then to Engineering. Mayweather. Looks like Travis will give us a bonus there. Then we have two tactical physicians to fill. How about a big hug? Okay, Q for the first one. And for the other one, I think we'll go with Vina for some evasive bonus. I think we're ready to go. Can our Borg Sphere take on the Herogen? We're about to find out. We'll just have to see how ready you are. Alright, we were victorious. We took a little bit of hole damage, but I think it's not that serious, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this part. That's always a relief when there's no nanoprobes. Well, I guess a little bit of repair wouldn't hurt. Oh, a spear versus a spear. This could be interesting. A little bit more damage this time, so let's go ahead and repair that. 
I'll be ready for our next round. In this case, against a uh, Vulcan cruiser. I believe that's a Ciroc class. So let's see how this goes. It's time to put an end to your trek through the stars. Okay, that's three rounds down. And then a boost to the whole strength. For round four, our opponent is... Ah, the Breen. It's time to put an end to your trek through the stars. Ouch, that one hurt a little bit. Our whole integrity is down to about 50%. We definitely need a boost for that. Let's see if it's enough to get through the last round. Oh, the Reliant. Let's see if she could be more than the Miranda's typical cannon fodder. Well, she put up a valiant fight, but it looks like resistance is futile after all. Let's see what rewards we might have picked up for finishing those skirmishes. Well, some holographic trainers, that's always good. Let's see what else we got. Ah, Commander Riker. Some supplies, including those Nova class schematics. I always love picking up ship schematics to help build or upgrade my ships. Let's see if we have enough for an upgrade. Let's go to our shipyard. Uh, looks like indeed we do. We're going to upgrade our Nova class. One more time. Why don't we equip her and give her a look? There we go. Looks rather nice, I think. Well, I think that's going to about wrap it up for today. However, uh, thank you for joining me. And I hope you have a blessed day.